All right, everyone, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Social media isn't always what you had for lunch or what you're doing. Sometimes something happens that has a real effect on the world. Now, a Twitter hoax yesterday brought to light the need to carefully watch the way we communicate online. Here to fill us in all about is our resident expert, Stephen Miano. Stephen, <laughs> last week it was Facebook phone. This week it's Twitter messing with the stock market. Yes. What happened? Big, crazy news. Okay, uh, basically mm -hmm. the president was injured in a bombing in the White House, according to the Associated Press. And we do have that tweet up. We actually have a freeze frame picture of that we're gonna bring up to you shortly, but yeah. Yeah, yeah which it didn't happen. Okay, um, there it is right there, breaking. Two yeah. explosions in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. Now, this is not true, folks. Is it not actually Now, what's, what's crazy is mm -hmm. this is actually the Associated Press's Twitter account. And yeah. that's why so many people took it seriously. And right. I mean, really seriously. We were looking at about 140-something point drop at the Dow. $200 billion. $200 billion. Uh, yeah, that, that were, well, potentially, I say potentially lost. Right. Uh, because it, it did come out a couple hours later that this was a hoax. It mm -hmm. was dispelled. Um, and you know the the markets did rally. Fortunately, I was thinking about it. If if this had happened an hour and a half, two hours later, the markets wouldn't have had time to rally. I mean, this really yeah. would have hurt uh, the market. Um, now, the group that did this, I think it's the Syrian Electronic Army, is, is who's claiming that they did this. Okay. Um, Forty eight hours was hacked recently. Sixty minutes. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a, a new frontier in. Um, I guess in social media, Janet really hit the nail on the head, the dark side of social media. Absolutely. And, you know, just a few months ago, we had the situation with the FBI. Uh, there was a hacking scam going on with emails being sent and mm -hmm. all of that. You know, we've seen Twitter used as an outlet for breaking news, Stephen, but how different is this? Well, you know, with the Arab Spring okay. uh, and, 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 like, the election scandals in Iran a few years ago, that really put Twitter in the forefront of mm -hmm. citizen journalism. Um, crowdsourcing is what made some of that information verifiable. Yeah. Um, for example, uh, the attacks on, on Gaza recently, mm -hmm. yeah. they were able to track the rockets and the missiles based on where the tweets were coming from uh, because you had multiple people independently tweeting this. At this is time. different where you have one major news agency mm -hmm. reporting completely false information and the whole world buying into it and having a major freak out. So fortunately, this was not a real tweet. So, Correct. Uh, you know, you talked about the folks who are claiming responsibility for this, but this really underscores the, you know, vulnerabilities that we have on social media. Well, people, and, and, and I'm, I'm one of these people, mm -hmm. but people are gullible and people are reactionary. Just look oh, at, yeah. if you remember um, the War of the Worlds uh, scandal, you know, you had people jumping off buildings because of a radio drama. And this is, this is kind of the same phenomena yeah. uh, where, if, if something like this happens, if you see incredulous mm -hmm. news, check other news sources, verify yeah. that information. Don't react just on one tweet, even if it's coming from Elvis himself. Uh, <laughs> right. It doesn't mean the king is returned. We, we, mm -hmm. have to, we have to just take a step back. Don't believe everything that you see or hear on the internet. Yes, kittens are cute, but it's not all true. And, and you know what, I speak about that too, just you know, in the wake of the, the Boston Marathon bombings, that was a, the issue that was presented because so yeah. many different news organizations were getting information, information wrong because it was developing as it became available. Yeah, and, and people are so eager for news and things are so fast paced in, yeah. in the modern world that it's going to lead to more and more of these kinds of wow. mistakes. But, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think the, the bombing in Boston maybe prepped people to be more, um, more liable to believe this kind of thing, honestly. Yeah, right. um, mm -hmm. if, if everything were calm, they maybe would not have bought yeah. into this so easily. All right, folks, Stephen Miano, owner of that computer store, folks, out in Irmo, as well as the Harbison Center at the Mall, Columbiana Mall. If you need anything, definitely stop by and see Stephen Miano. Check us out. <laughs>